What's your greatest most satisfying I freaking called it moment? The last few months of my wife's pregnancy with my daughter, the little baby would regular as clockwork, around 1030pm, put her feet against my wife's ribs and try to straighten her legs so she could headbutt her way out of my wife. Bam. Headbutt to the inside of your, whatever. My wife would freaking jump up cursing like a sailor every time. It was painful, but also hilarious, reliable, and I guess we knew she'd be an active little kid well before she was born. Cut to the evening of her birth, the doctor is telling us around 9pm that things are going well, but he's going to go get dinner because he has eaten and there's no way this kid is coming out before midnight. I look at my wife, look at the doc, and say don't go far, the kid is going to deliver herself around 1030pm. I promise you, you're just going to have to catch her, he laughed, told us he's been doing this a long time, and he wasn't worried, 10.25 he's rushing in and barely gets his gloves and scrubs on before my daughter shoots herself out of mommy like a grease bullet, direct quote from the doctor looking at me as he holds my little dolling, well, I guess even I can learn things still, I don't blame him at all, who would believe parents about something like that, but that kid had done so many test runs, on such a regular schedule, I knew there was no stopping her, and fair game, getting headbutted daily for a month or whatever as a trade off to having a very short and easy labor, there are worse deals. The first Avengers movie, my husband was wondering why the staff could stop the almighty tesseract, I casually said, maybe, they're both infinity stones, he said, nah, the tesseract is its own thing, because he was more into the comics at the time, I shrugged it off. Since then, every MacGuffin in the movies, down to Thor's Dark World, I jokingly said, Infinity Stone to troll him, you can imagine how pidey he's been since Gordians. Since then, every MacGuffin in the movies, down to Thor's Dark World, I jokingly said, Infinity Stone to troll him, you should expand this to every other franchise for maximum lols, Urin Greyjoy clearly has an Infinity Stone kept finding small cut up straws in my grandma's bathroom, so many straws, I let my grandmother know that someone is using her bathroom to use drugs, she freaks out saying I'm accusing her of using drugs and that it's impossible, a year later my uncle divorces his wife due to her cocaine addiction, grandma says well Kay always stopped by in the afternoon to use the restroom and then she would clean my whole house and I just didn't think anything of it my favorite story at thanksgiving. K can come do cocaine in my bathroom if she cleans my house afterwards. I'll even leave her pre-cut straws. Edit to add, whoever gilded me, may your future be filled with clean houses and cocaine. When I met my mom's husband's adult kids, after a few minutes of hanging out with them I followed my mom into the kitchen. Me. Three of his four kids are gay. Mom. Number. Only one is. Me. Number. Three are. Ten years later. One of his children is in a same-sex marriage and two of his kids are living with long-time same-sex partners. The gaydar is strong with this one. A little too strong. Found out my now ex-husband was sleeping with a co-worker. So naturally we divorce, but still have to keep in contact because we have a daughter. Well her fiancé finds out and leaves her as well. Now she is a decade older than me and had mentioned that she and her ex-fiancé had been trying for a baby for a long time but never conceived, he continued to see her and eventually she moved on with him, he didn't want any more kids, I told him to be careful because I suspected she was only with him to have a baby, fast forward a year and she's pregnant, he comes to terms with it after being slightly upset, fast forward a year after their baby was born and she breaks up with him, shocker, she used him to have a kid, god I don't feel bad for him so much as I do the kid, People want to be parents so badly and don't think about the kids they want so desperately to have. Dude at work had been complaining about his crazy girlfriend and her problems. Two weeks later he is talking about how she is pregnant. In my head I'm thinking, she is going to lose the baby because it isn't real. Sure enough, he comes in all sad about just over two more weeks later saying she had a miscarriage. Some time passed and he is complaining about her crazy antics again. She probably will end up pregnant for real though. Fake another pregnancy. Say don't need condoms cause already pregnancy and bam. Your friend is mega screwed. 
co-worker made a very unethical, behind closed doors deal with another company, and he was an agency resource, not even a full employee of my company. After months, I spoke up about something being fishy, and concerns of pre-committing purchasing, etc. My apathetic boss ignores me, all while co-worker secures a job at the other company to work on the project that he set up with my company. Fast forward a year later, now they are citing that project as a pre-commit for service. Wisdom never tasted so sour. I don't care if they are up 28 to 3, they are the falcons, they'll blow it somehow. Cries in Georgian. My wife was watching some TV show. I happened to walk in during some scene in which it was raining out, and a guy and a gal were looking at each other through their car windows as their kid went from one car to the other. I said here comes the scene where they make up without knowing any of the background of the show. My wife started telling me that it won't happen. They had had a failed relationship years earlier, hence the kid, and the woman was with a great guy. Right after she said that, the woman got out and ran to the guy's car basically professing her love for him. How this is from parenthood, super predictable, decent show though. Friend of mine got into a relationship with this girl, he tells me that she cries every time he tries to end their chat, I immediately think to myself, this isn't gonna be good, she becomes incredibly controlling, to the point of our crew only hearing from him once every few weeks, I mentioned how utterly fricked it was to him, but he refused to believe that there was something wrong, claimed he could persuade her otherwise. Two years later, no sign of any of his progress, was really sad to watch him slowly fade out of our lives in favor of her. Reach out, as someone who's been in that kind of relationship, he's not blowing you off in favor of her, he's blowing her off in favor of avoiding terrible consequences. Even if it's just to say my number is this, please call or text when you want to catch up, reach out, if this ends, and it should because it sounds toxic af, he is gonna need friends. My wife and I went to Red Lobster one day. My wife likes the shrimp and lobster pasta with parmesan cheese. They sat her plate down. She got a weird look on her face. She told me it smelled weird. It smelled normal to me. I straight up asked her if she could be pregnant. Her eyes got wide as she starts doing some math in her head. We went afterwards and got a pregnancy test. Sure enough, she didn't even know yet. All because I remember some random tidbit about some food smelling off to pregnant women. It's so true though. I love bacon but both pregnancies the smell of cooking bacon made me feel so sick. In high school my best friend's little sister, 16 at the time, brought home her new 18 year old BF from work to meet the family. I was over at the time and talked to him for a while because we were the same age. After meeting him something was off. I got the impression that one. He was much older than claiming to, had been in jail. I wound up saying something to my friend, who told his parents and sister. Long story short the family freaked out on my for spreading rumors that weren't true, telling me to mind my own business etc. Two years later the sister comes home from a date with him and tears. He finally came out and admitted to her that one. He was 30, not the now 20 he was saying too. He had spent two years in prison, but refused to say for what. I was very quick to point out to the family how I called this years earlier and was basically shamed out of their house. Hardly a rumor if you only told the family out of caution, eesh. That my sister is gay, growing up she'd develop what was very obviously, to me, a crush on different girls. In high school I finally said, girl, have you considered that these feelings you have for so and so might be romantic she flipped the frick out on me, we didn't talk for weeks. She'd date any guy that asked her out because she was supposed to like guys but never really felt anything for them. Finally in college she called me and went, yeah, so anyway, you're right, I'm totally gay. We joke that it took her so long not because she was in denial, she just didn't want me to be right. I was this high middle school for the 2000s so calling people gay for any reason was the peak of hilarity. I always thought it was so off that my one friend Mike would get so upset about this. I'm not gay was his constant response instead of the tried and true lol no you. Quite obviously it turns out Mike was gay and I'm proud to say he came out to us before we left high school. I was on a second date and we were watching Criminal Minds at her apartment. I called that the killer would be an archaeologist who hadn't even been introduced yet, 
She was so blown away during the reveal at the end of the episode that I took a victory lap. As I rounded third I slipped where the carpet meets the hardwood and fell flat on my face. We've been married for over two years now. One of the old coaches from the Chicago Bears is Mark Tressman. I told everyone that he would not make it to the third year of his contact. He would get fired after the second season. I made a $500 bet with my dad because I was that dang sure. Soon as the news broke, I called him and told him I prefer cash over check. Mark Tressman. This man is an actual genius. For real. But he sure did a bad job in Chicago. I almost wonder if someone in the Bears was working against him or something. About a year after my father's death, my mother got together with a man. I felt as if something was off from the start and told her that he doesn't seem right and that he was going to do something stupid and hurt her emotionally. A year later they got engaged and they seemed happy. I've never seen my mother so happy since before my father died. Well as of yesterday, it came out that this man has been engaged to someone else since before my mother met him and that he has been sleeping with at least two other women on a regular basis. Wish I could tell her that I had freaking called it but I am afraid it will make her more upset. Anyways, now to build my revenge plan. Wish me luck. When my brother and sister-in-law planned a trip home for Easter weekend I told my wife and parents that they were coming to announce their pregnancy. Everyone told me I was crazy and they'd just use the family chat for that. Cue Easter lunch on Saturday and my sill refuses a glass of wine and everyone guesses she's pregnant. Called it. My cousin swears it's my fault she has 5 kids. Every time she's been pregnant I called it before she knew. She says me saying it is what makes it take. I'm banned from asking her are you pregnant. When a penny stock I bought around $0.03 share blew up to over $3. My only regret is not buying a lot more shares. There used to be a show called Tales from the Dark Side. I was watching it with my brother. The episode started with a female hiker who was lost and was taken in by an old couple. About 5 minutes into the episode I said, the old people are going to cook and eat the young lady. Brother thought I was crazy. End of the episode was the young lady in the hot tube and the old people were bringing it up to boil and adding in vegetables and turning her into a soup. I like to walk past the hot tub in a hotel and just drop in some carrots and celery. Just hang out in there and simmer for a while. I mean sit there for a while. Paraphrase Mitch. I've been practicing law in the same venue for many years with the same judges and attorneys. New hotshot attorney out of law school is opposing counsel. It's a death case. My client was not responsible, but opposing counsel would not listen to reason. On the eve of trial, my client is willing to offer a decent amount to settle the case. I call the attorney and encourage her to take it. I told her that if she didn't accept, when we went to trial the next day I was going to have all her evidence thrown out and strike her witnesses. She thought I was bluffing. I assured her I was not. I told her to call any attorney in the area and ask them if I was a straight shooter. She basically told me to frick and in that she'd see me at trial. Sure enough, the judge excludes her documentary evidence, all hearsay, and strikes her witnesses. She has zero evidence when the judge is through with her. Her client was in tears. I think she got sued for malpractice. She wasn't at that firm long after that debacle. But I freaking told her that would happen. Had a friend who started dating a guy while she was in the middle of rehab for alcohol and drug abuse. Found out the guy was a former meth user. I told her she was going to end up in prison or worse if she didn't break up with him. She was on probation for multiple DUIs. Within 2 months, not only was she in prison, she was pregnant while in prison. My mom and sister used to be obsessed with John and Kate plus 8 and I told them that they would end up getting divorced. When they announced the divorce my mom and sister were devastated but I couldn't help rubbing it in their faces. My mom thought the Duggars were just wonderful, Christian people. I loathed them right from the start and told her they were extremely creepy and messed up people, and they were probably huge hypocrites. Then all the scandals came out and I was proved right, but I don't have the heart to rub it in her face. This is girl Pepe, she only appears once in every 50,000 memes, like in 3 seconds for good luck. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe, I publish new videos every day, until then, check another video, or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.